what you call a late, late fall cleanup. <laughs> this time last year we had 10 inches of snow on the ground. Make sure you look for our video on the Toro Easy Back Attachment. We use this on our 61 inch zero turn lawnmower with mixed results. I want you to have that information before you go out and buy one. Now we don't have all the equipment we need to perform every function of our business and that's what today's video is about. We're going to show you how we adapt and overcome because I know a lot of you guys and a lot of you gals out there, you're going to have to do the exact same things within your own companies. You're going to have a job that you're hired to do but you don't have the right tools and your profit and your losses are going to depend on how to adapt and overcome and st still get results. This was actually a very easy job for us. We were going out strictly to clean up the pine needles. They were dry. They should have been sucked into the Easy Vac attachment relatively quickly and easily. But what I want you to notice is how the Easy Vac attachment actually tends to blow the needles outside of the intake instead of taking them all in, which made us go over the site a few times before we were able to actually get immaculate results. And even then, we had to use a rake and dethatch the area to get it to the point where we felt the customer would be satisfied with the job. In the review video of this attachment, we go over all these details and we show you how effective this Easy Back attachment is and where it tends to need improvement. So we don't have a dedicated dump trailer. We created our own system. It works, it's not perfect, but it gets us by. We use a giant tarp on the front of our trailer. We load that with leaves, then we wrap it like a big burrito, like a big leaf burrito. Take that to the dump site and then use that Echo backpack blower sitting in the back of the truck just to blow the leaves right out. Not as efficient as other ways, but when you don't have a dump trailer and you you got to get by, this works fine. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys that don't have dump trailers do? Do you just mulch the leaves in and leave them, or do you have a different way of transporting them? I'd love to hear how you guys overcome this hurdle and obstacle. So please, in the comments down below, let me know. Let's kick this pine needle cleanup into high gear. So let's go over a few numbers. On this project, it took us three and a half hours to complete the job. We charged the customer $65 an hour. That was shop to shop time from the moment we left to the moment we had all the leaves off from our trailer. It was a total of three and a half hours. The total cost charged to the customer for this project was $227.50. One point that I want to clarify for your own records is that is per man, per hour. If we had two guys on this job, we would have been charging $130 an hour or $65 an hour times two. Landscapers chronically undercharge and you've got to stop doing that if you want to stay in this for the long term. If you have three guys on the job, it's $65 an hour times three. Whatever your normal rate is, make sure that you have each man covered and in this case, if we're dumping leaves and they're charging you to dump the leaves somewhere, you charge your customer for that. Don't absorb that cost either. Make sure you cover all your bases. Make sure you're collecting the proper payments from your customer. That's the difference between longevity in this, in this industry and getting burned out and wondering why you're losing your butt. I hope this guy has helped you guys and gals out. I love you guys and gals go out. I want you to make as much money as possible. So please subscribe. Take care. God bless. Have yourselves an awesome day.